Hey guys, what's going on? It is Zach. Welcome back to another PHP 7 tutorial for beginners. In this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at the PHP math operators and how to use them to make a very simple calculator. So let's do it. Okay, so as always, the first thing we're going to do here is open and close our PHP tags. And let's jump down and create our HTML document. So this one I am just going to name calc because I'm too lazy to type calculator. And in our body section, we are going to create a form. So open that up, form action equals double quotes. And remember the form action is the page that processes the information. So in this case, it's tut.php. So we're going to put that in there, tut.php. The method is going to be post. Okay, so now we want to create two input fields, but we want to have uh, a drop-down menu in between those two fields. So let's go ahead and create the first one. Input type equals double quote number name equals num1 placeholder equals enter first number. We'll create a line break and then we are going to do select. So in between the select, we are going to create a couple of options. Option value equals, uh, we'll start with plus, and we'll put in plus in between the uh, opening and closing of option, and we'll create another one, option, value, oops, equals minus, pretty sure that's how you spell it. I can code, but I can't spell. Option value equals, uh, we'll do times, oops, times, and the last one will be option not top, option, value, uh, divided by. And that should look okay. Okay, so actually, you know what? Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually take away this line break here uh, so we can <coughs> select our yeah, okay, anyways. Okay, so now below this select statement, we're going to do input type equals double quote number, name equals num2, placeholder, double quote, enter second number. That's gonna irritate me. Refresh, cool. And now we will create our line breaks. Input type equals double quote, submit. Save and refresh. Must have, uh, what the heck? Oh, okay, there we go. Input, not input. <clears throat> okay, perfect. And we'll have a value on that of figure it out. Just for fun, figure it out. Okay, cool. Okay, so now that we're done with all of our HTML, now it's time to get into the PHP. So first thing we need to do is start uh, by checking to make sure everything is filled out correctly. So we're gonna do that by creating an if statement. So if brackets is set, brackets, dollar underscore post, square brackets, single quote. Uh, we named the dropdown, dropdown, dropdown and is set dollar bra uh, brackets uh, dollar underscore post square brackets single quote num1 and is set 
dollar underscore post square bracket single quote num two and not empty dollar underscore post square bracket single quote drop down uh, the only reason dropdown would ever be empty is if they uh, use some sort of uh, HTML editor that they could basically like uh, change the way the the HTML displays. Um, but you know, just just for you know kicks and giggles, we'll uh, throw that in there. So uh, and not empty dollar underscore post num one and not empty dollar underscore post num two curly braces. Now this is where all the rest of our code is going to go. So we'll create a variable called dropdown equals dollar underscore post square brackets uh, single quotes drop down. Uh, don't forget your semicolon at the end. Num one equals dollar underscore post square brackets uh, single quotes num one and num two equals dollar underscore post square bracket single quote num two now to make sure everything is working correctly let's go ahead and echo these all out uh let's say one and two but uh, let's not do plus let's do times yep okay wait one and two did I do that? Okay, cool. All right. Awesome. Okay, so that's all working. Now we're going to create four if statements. So if brackets drop down equals single quote curly braces echo num one num and we're going to copy that three more times. Okay, cool. So, uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to check the, we're going to have PHP check the HTML that the user has, uh, or the uh, user input from the HTML. And it's going to be looking for these symbols. So, plus, minus, times, and divide. So, we're going to start with plus. So, if drop down equals plus, echo num1 plus num2 num2 if it equals minus we're going to go echo num1 minus num2 if it is times which is that little star thing we're going to go echo num1 times num2 and the last one you guessed it is divided by so we can go ahead and save that and refresh our or reload our page. So let's do 10 plus five. So we should get 15. So we got 15. Uh, let's do 10 divided by two. It is in fact five. Let's do 20 times two. So we should get 40. Perfect. So that is how you create a very, very basic uh, PHP calculator. Uh, so I hope this has helped you. Uh, make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Take care.